Matthew. Welcome back. This is going to be an August 14th to the 16th reading for you, Capricorn. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node, Cappy. This is for Cappy. Sun, Moon, Rising, and the North Node, August 14th to the 16th. What is this for Capricorn? Okay. Yeah, we have um, Pinnacle, Divine Nature, True Destiny, Purifying, and Cleansing. Okay. What involved True Love, Charmed Affair, Long Term Potential. Okay. And independent, true to yourself, free spirit, being your own guide, spirit. So we have pinnacle here. You're, you're at a pinnacle. You're hitting the pinnacle here in your life. Let's see what comes out here in the money deck for you. Um, Kathy, Sun Moon Rising, Venus North Node, August 14th to the 16th. Give me a money message for Capricorn, please. So divine nature, true destiny, purifying and cleansing. We have it. We have stability. Sorry, it looks like the anchor, coffee with this anchor. Okay, um, stability, steady work and finances, building long-term wealth. I always have money. Okay, so working upon something. Okay, fruitful, rewarded for your work, growing your prosperity. I welcome abundance. All right, so this is what you're saying. Yeah, you're ambitious. You're focused on what you want, Kathy. You are a sign of ambition and expression, sharing your knowledge, using your words to influence. So this could be, Libra got this kind of energy in their reading too. So you can have um, Libra placements or you could, um, or something, be dealing with the Libra. Let's see here. Yeah, so fruitful. Something is very fruitful here for you. Let's get a sex card. What sex energy are you in, Kathy? Or what sex energy somebody's going towards you at this time? So this is for Capricorn, Sun Moon Rising. Venus in the next north node for Cappy. Summer rising Venus in the north node for Cappy. Okay. August the 14th to the 16th for Capricorn. There we go. We have mind. It says mind trip. Yeah, it uses substances to enhance sex. So discuss consent and set safe boundaries. Okay. So you use substances to have sex, or maybe pills or drinking or whatever. We have body art. Yeah, fine, fine tattoos and piercings, sexy, and may also enjoy mixing playing with pleasure. That showed up in Libra's reading as well, okay? In Karma Sutra, it has a spiritual view of sex and, and likes trying new sexual positions to keep it fresh, okay? Possessives want you to be only with them and may want you to be their sex slave or submissive, okay? So somebody may like to take pictures of you, but I'm getting body art, especially tattoo on the back. Somebody could really enjoy here, okay? But something is fruitful. You're you're involved in a true love, charm, um, a charmed affair, long term potential. This could be a fair an affair for some of you. Let's get a couple messages from here for Kathy. Summer rising, Venus North Node, the 14th to the 16th of July. Oh, yeah, mind trip uses substances. So somebody likes to use substances when they're having sex here. Okay. Somebody loves your body art, your tattoos, or you do. You love somebody's tattoos, especially on their back. Okay. Let's see. Cappy, Summer Rising, Venus, Jupiter, Saturn, whatever place was Cappy, the 14th to the 16th of August. Give me something for Capricorns. We have change, okay? Regeneration, growth, metamorphosis, and cycles. Yeah, with spiritual awakening, enlightenment, epiphany, life lesson, and rebirth. With divine intervention, serendipity, capitalist, supernatural, and karma. So there is something that is changing here, okay? Someone's undergoing the spiritual awakening. You, you are the catalyst to somebody's spiritual awakening, Kathy. Maybe it's a Scorpio, or they are to you, okay? You can, we have roll the dice, take a chance, or risk, leap of faith, strategy, and proposal. Yeah, love offer engagement agreement in which country. So someone's going to take a leap of faith and propose to you. I feel like somebody has changed. Maybe something has changed in somebody's stability or their work or their work has picked up or their money is more stable now. Okay, yeah, we have single, long isolation, lonely and guarded. Yeah. Okay. What's single? Yeah, heartbreak, hurt, betrayal, grief, disappointment, and yeah, um, yeah, hurt, betrayal, grief, and disappointment. So maybe somebody's hurt or feels like they disappointed you or isolated you or left you alone or left you hanging or was guarded towards you. Yeah, we have regret. Yeah, mistake, guilt, wrong choice. So somebody regrets betraying you, stabbing you in the back, um, disappointing you, excuse me, or doing something or whatever this is that they did to you here. Yeah, hook up, one night stand, intimacy, casual relationship, and fling and wearing a mask. Yep, hidden motives, concealed, disguised, and lying. Somebody wore a mask, they disguised something, they lied about something. Okay, this one night stand, this hookup, or whatever this is. Yeah, healing and grass is greener. If somebody wants to heal it, somebody thought the grass was greener, or they thought it was a joke in the game, and it's not. 
Okay, not at all. Not for you or not for them. We have um, music, magician, snake, charm, harmony, and melodic. We have intuition. Okay, get gut feeling, psychic premonition, and sixth sense. And then we have divine timing. Wrong timing, still make perfect timing and waiting. Okay, reconciliation. Yeah, okay, reunion, second chance, back together. I miss you. And home, unexpected and truth. You feel like home to somebody. They miss you or they miss you at their home. You make them feel safe safe or comforted or they want to reconcile here with you. Yeah, it came up. Okay, home and reconciliation. I see you reconciling with somebody. You could be at their home, hugging them, staying outside their home. This could be unexpected. Somebody may be inviting you over or wanting to date you or, or, or some shit like this. Okay, let's see. Let's clarify this, okay? So we're going to clarify this energy over 555. When I look at the clock for Kathy, we're going to clarify what this mind trip is. Let's see real quick. What's this mind trip? Use some substances to enhance sex. So discuss consent and set safe boundaries for Kathy. Sun rising in the North Node Capricorn. What is this mind trip? Obviously, yeah. We have the Eight of Swords. Yeah, somebody, yeah, substances are being high. Somebody, yeah, the Eight of Swords and the Four of Pentacles. Somebody could be trying to, yeah, somebody is like trying to harness your energy or somebody is trying to, yeah, they want to get you fucked up or somebody wants to like, somebody wants to, someone's possessive. Somebody, okay. Yeah, templates, but I feel like divine intervention or something is a no. Yeah, the nine of swords and the knight of wands. Yeah, somebody could be trying to drug you to have sex with you, Kathy, so I'd be careful. Knight of wands and the five of wands, yeah. And the three of swords, yeah, somebody's lying or you may have to fight somebody out. I feel like somebody's trying to drug you. Yeah, the seven of wands and the ten of swords. I feel like you're going to say no or you're going to cut somebody off or you're like, no, bitch. Somebody's trying to put you under these drugs or use these substances. Yeah, mind trip. That's the eight of swords. That's in our mind. Somebody wants to have you high as fuck or somebody wants to hold you down. or have, Yeah, you need to be careful with this energy. You have a lover's, yeah, sex or something like that. Okay, clarify this right here. Look, right quick. What's the pinnacle? Divine nature, true destiny for Kathy. August 14th to the, yeah, we have the lover's. And the Ten of Swords that flipped over in the Seven of Wands. I feel like, yeah, it's a no. If it's a Gemini, you're like, no. I feel like you're going to excommunicate somebody and block their ass. What is the stability here? What is the stability for Kathy? Yeah, because somebody got you, fought, yeah, the Five of Cups. So there could be a loss in this. Yeah, I see an argument or a fight or something about sex or whatever. You're like, no, there you are, Kathy, the devil and the hangman and the Seven of Swords. Yeah, you're going to leave somebody hanging or somebody's obsessively leaving somebody hanging or some shit like that. All right, we're going to clarify and extend it what the fuck this is going on, all right? So click the link to my Vimeo. It'll be in the description box, the comment section, and on my community tab.